Hi everyone! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I'm posting to try to help people out when it comes to aptitude tests like the civil service exam. Now this video in particular is part of my series on language. Today we're going to talk about yung mga tiyatagong katense na tenses. This is the first part sa series natin on uh, how to deal with tenses. Now today we're going to talk about present tense lang muna, all the four types, and that is what we're going to do. Now I'm sorry I'm holding this by hand. The reason for that is kasi hinahabol ko ito for the August 6 exam. A uh, bunch of you are taking that test and I really wanted you guys to learn this. So kahit naka voice rest dapat ako because uh, if you can see na mamaga yung aking throat, uh, I wanted to do this pa rin for you para maihabol. So I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can show you how to do it. I'll see you in a bit. Now this time we're going to talk about tenses. This is part 1 ng series. Again, we're going to focus on yung present tenses. <coughs> now there are four types uh, na laging ginagamit. Ito yung uh, four types ng tenses na nasa present. Now, I know it's tricky, but uh, we're going to try to talk about the similarities and differences ng bawat isa. So, I need you to pay close attention sa kung ano yung mga keywords, ano yung clues, at ano yung kailangan hanapin para malaman kung anong tense yung gagamitin natin. Okay? Now, the real question when it comes to tenses, not just for present tense, but for all the rest of the other tenses, is this. Kailan ba talaga? Kailan ba talaga siya nangyari? Nangyayari ba siya ngayon? Nangyayari ba siya in the future? Natapos ba siya, ba siya in the past? Tuloy-tuloy ba siya? And those are just the components that we're going to talk about today. Now, the first uh, tense that we're going to talk about is yung present simple. Present simple tense, ito yung laging ginagamit. Okay? Ang form niya ay yung do or does. Okay? For example, he runs, he uh, smiles, he talks, all of those things. Present simple yun. Now, how do you know kung present simple ang gagamitin ninyo? Now, what I suggest that you focus on more than yung pangalan na present simple is this. Ito yung titignan ninyo component. The reason for that is kasi ang kailangan nyo na malaman sa exam, hindi yung tawag sa tense, kung alin, kundi anong form yung gagamitin ninyo sa tamang sagot. Okay? Now, ang present simple gagamitin nyo siya kapag yung action is laging ginagawa. Ibig sabihin, uh, regular niya ginagawa everyday, or trabaho niya yun, or talagang yun talaga yung lagi niyang paulit-ulit na ginagawa sa buhay niya. Okay? So, hindi pala tatapos yung action. Probably, uulitin niya rin yan in the future. Ginagawa niya in the past, ginagawa niya ngayon, gagawin niya pa rin in the future. Okay? So, ang clues mo are the words always or every day, okay? Or regularly. Pag sinabi yun sa sentence, ibig sabihin probably present simple lang pinag-uusapan natin. Now, for example, ito yung question. Sabi, he is a driver. Okay? So, yun yung trabaho niya. He is a driver. He blank every day. Now, notice again, yung keyword natin na every day is here. Ibig sabihin, you're going to use present simple. So, he, what, every day? He drives every day. Nalagyan mo ng S or kung plural naman, they drive. Okay? Ito yung pinakasimpleng uh, form, present simple. Gagawin mo siya pag laging ginagawa, regular or routine or nakita mo yung words na always, every day. Okay? So, again, pag laging ginagawa, Present simple. So, yun yung tatrawin mo sa sarili mo. He blank every day. Yung ginagawa niya ba, lagi niyang ginagawa? If yes, dahil driver nga siya at lagi niyong ginagawa every day, then ang form mo is present simple. My S. Okay? Now, next form that we're going to talk about, yung present con continuous. Now, ang lagi na pagkakamari ng tao is yung present simple at saka present continuous. Now, anong pagkakaiba niya in form? Pag present continuous, am doing or is doing, okay, or are doing, Merong ing. Okay? Again, I want you to focus on the form. Dito sa present simple, may s or do or does yan. Okay? So, he drives, they drive, he runs, they run. Sa present continuous, may ing. Okay? So, he is running. Okay? They are running. I am running. Now, bakit may ing? Ang present continuous, with the word continuous nga, ibig sabihin nun, nangyayari siya ngayon mismo. Nangyayari siya, tumatakbo yung action ngayon. Ngayon mismo sa moment na ito, okay, kailan siya nangyari? Ngayon mismo. You will catch that person doing the exact action right in this very moment. Ngayon, for example, ito yung example natin, he is a driver. Dahil merong right now do sa sentence, he blank right now, which is yung clue natin, okay? O kaya he is currently, okay? Ibig sabihin, right this moment yung ginagawa niya, hindi na to he drives right now. Okay, kanina, he, kanina he drives. Ngayon, he is driving 
right now. Bakit? Kasi nga, right this moment, nagda-drive siya. So, nagkakaroon ng is-ing. Okay? Is-ing. Or are-ing. Okay? Yun yung present continuous. Kapag nangyayari ngayon, mismo. Right this very moment. Okay? Next, present perfect continuous. Ang present perfect continuous, ibig sabihin nun, okay? Yung sentence ang nakalagay, have been doing or has been doing. So, I have been running, I have been uh, have been writing, okay? Or they have been, okay? Or he has been writing, he has been doing this. Now, how do you know pag present perfect continuous ang gagamitin? Kapag yung action ay nangyari noon at nangyayari pa rin. Ibig sabihin, it happened in the past, it started in the past, pero nangyayari pa rin siya hanggang now. Okay? Tumatakbo yung action. Okay? So, kung tumatakbo na siya noon, hanggang ngayon, tumatakbo pa rin siya, you use have been running or has been running. Okay? Clues natin are the words since or for. If you see this in the sentence, probably present perfect continuous. For example, he is a driver, he blanked for Mr. Cruz since 1999. Again, yung keyword natin na since. So, dahil may since yan, we're using present perfect continuous. Ang magiging form niya ay he has been driving for Mr. Cruz since 1997. Ibig sabihin, mula 1997 hanggang ngayon, pinagdadrive niya pa rin si Mr. Cruz paulit-ulit, regularly. Tuloy-tuloy. Okay? So, if you notice, kanina meron tayong present continuous, right? Yun din yung may ing. So, pag continuous yung tense, may ing. Pag perfect, meron na tayong has or have been. Okay? Now, Alright, yung next natin is present perfect tense. Now, yung present perfect tense, ito yung form niya, have or has done or have or has been doing. Now, anong difference niya doon sa present uh, perfect continuous natin kanina? Okay, ang difference niya is this. Ang present perfect gagamitin mo pag yung action ay nangyari at natapos na. Actually, tapos na in the past. Um, so, ito yung tricky na part kasi present perfect siya pero actually natapos na yung action. So, ang clue mo are these words. If you see the words so far, already, not yet, recently, just, ever, never, or for the past, you use the present perfect tense. For example, he blanked a driver for the past 20 years. Okay? Dahil meron kang for the past, dyan, ang mangyayari dito is instead of he has been driving uh, ang action, ang mangyayari would be he has been a driver for the past 20 years. Okay? So, bakit? Kasi nga, ayan no, for the past 20 years. So, ang present perfect, again, not necessarily na magdadrive pa siya again in the future, walang onting, walang clue dyan. Ang importante na tapos na in the past, okay, nangyari na tapos na in in the past, nagbilang ka hanggang counting yung hanggang ngayon. Okay? Now, paano natin ma-apply itong mga ito? We're going to use uh, these sample problems, okay? For example, I'm sorry, you can talk to him, he blanked a class. Okay? So, hit pause now. Alright, this is the type of question that you probably, may possibly, could encounter sa exam. Not necessarily like this, but along the lines of this question. Now, how do you know kung anong tense ang gagamitin ninyo? You look for clues doon sa sentence na binigay. Sabi, I'm sorry, you can talk to him. He blanked a class. Now, if you look at the options here, sabi, he teaches a class. Sabi, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> sabi natin pag may S, ibig sabihin yan, yan ay present simple. Okay, ibig sabihin nun, regularly niyang ginagawa. Now, it's true, it could be true na regular siyang nagtuturo. Pero yun ba yung sinasabi sa sentence? Ang sinasabi dito, hindi mo siya makakausap kasi nagtuturo siya ng class. <coughs> nagtuturo ba siya ng class as in his entire life? O ang sinasabi ay right this moment, hindi mo siya pwedeng kausap? Now, obviously, ang sabi, you can talk to him. Ibig sabihin, ngayon yun mismo sa oras na ito. So, kung ngayon mo siya hindi pwedeng kausapin dahil ngayon siya mismo nagtuturo, then this is present continuous. This becomes... Ang tamang answer, he is teaching a class. Okay? Kasi kailan yung klase na right this moment? Pwede mong dugtungan ng right now. Kung ang action ay nangyayari ngayon mismo, at ngayon mismo ginagawa niya, then you use the present continuous. So, I'm sorry you can talk to him, he is teaching a class. Or he is teaching a class right now. 
Okay? So, hindi pa din teaches, kasi ibig sabihin nun, eh, regular naman siya lagi nag, may, nagtuturo eh. Hindi yun ang relevant dun sa sentence na ito. So, itatanong mo lagi, kailan nangyayari? Ano yung nangyayari? You have to imagine it. Okay? Next. She blank books for a living. Hit pause now. Alright. So, she blank books for a living. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Pag, pag, pag nagsusulat daw siya for a living, ibig sabihin nun, yun ang kanyang trabaho or hanap buhay. Ibig sabihin that is something that this person does regularly. And dahil he, do, uh, he or she, do, uh, she does it for a living, ibig sabihin, lagi niyang ginagawa, ang kukunin natin is yung simple present tense natin na she writes books for a living. Kasi, lagi niyang paulit-ulit ginagawa. Okay? Magsusulat siya ngayon, magsusulat siya bukas, magsusulat siya probably three-to-day siyang laging regularly siyang nagsusulat ng libro. Okay? Next. I blank in this house since 1990. I don't plan on leaving anytime soon. So, hit pause now. Alright. So, I blank in this house since 1990. I don't plan on leaving anytime soon. Okay? Pag sinabi, I live in this house since, o oh, hindi yun pwede kasi ang keyword nga natin agad, agad is the word since. Pag sinabi since, ibig sabihin, ang ating, uh, ang ating tense has to be hindi siya simple, hindi siya simple continuous. Okay. Now, sabi, I don't plan on leaving anytime soon. Ibig sabihin nun, nangyayari na noon, nakatira na siya noon, probably itutuloy niya pa in the future. Okay? Tuloy-tuloy lang, nahuli mo siya right at the time na nakatira siya sa isang bahay, wala siyang planong umalis. So, the answer becomes, I have been living in this house since 1990. Kasi, mula noon hanggang ngayon, magbibilang ka pa in the future. Next. Okay? Hit pause now. Alright, so the question says, today's train ride is not noteworthy. Ibig sabihin, hindi, nang, nang, nang hindi noteworthy, hindi mo kailangan mag-take down notes or hindi siya special. He blanked the train more than a hundred times this year. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Kung nakasakay, sumakay na daw siya sa train more than a hundred times itong taon na to. Now, the clue, the clue here is the word words this year. Napag-usapan na natin to kanina, Right? This is dun sa ating uh, huling tense na pinag-usapan. So, ibig sabihin nun, natapos na, yeah, pinapatuloy niyang ginagawa, sa tapos na this year, nakailang ulit na siyang sumakay this year. So, the correct answer is, has ridden. He has ridden the train more than 100 times this year. So, again, maliliit yung mga differences, no? So, ang importante tanong yung sa sarili mo, kailan to nangyari? Tuloy-tuloy niya ba itong ginagawa? Regular niya ba itong ginagawa? Ginagawa niya ba ito right now? Uh, ginagawa niya ba in the past hanggang ngayon? Plano niya bang ituloy? Or ginawa niya in the past at natapos na rin in the past? So, if you think about it, uh, yung itong uh, present perfect uh, pre present perfect nating tense is a little bit like past tense then. Okay? So again, there are things that you can uh, practice on and I hope that you found this helpful. We are going to talk about the other tenses really soon. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends, lalo na kung mag -e exam din sila. And as always, click subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Hit the bell icon para malaman ninyo as soon as the new video posts. Next time, we're going to talk about past tenses naman. And I hope nakatulong tong video sa inyo. So, if you want to reach out to me directly or may requests kayo or gusto nyong bumili ng reviewer or mag-attend ng live review events, go to www.facebook.com slash teamlika for that. I'd love to hear back from you. So, as always, God bless sa inyong lahat. Keep learning, keep believing, keep praying. Aja, aja, kaya niyan. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.